Ah, there she is. My cat. And also, PlayStation. <laughs> you know how to walk off that thing? PlayStation 3. All right, so let me just do the intro then, since she borked it up. PS3 Online in 2023. You know what we're going to do here? We're going to play a bunch of games, see how many active lobbies and communities that we can run into, and just see what's up. And I think you'll find that this year we're running into a thing where games are getting both easier and harder to play. And that might sound a bit weird, but I think you'll see what I mean when you see this year's results. MW3, let's go. I think I'm on my other account, actually. I am. I only have, I'm only rank one. 576 players online. I think that was like around what it was last time, was it not? What's, up, what's going on? <laughs> yep. Yo, what's up, brother? Hey, what's up? What's going on, man? How the much do with you? Just having fun on a Saturday night. You know how it is. Oh my God, my controller. In the middle. Of... What's wrong with your controller? PS4 controller. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Was it broken? PS3 controller. Yeah. They don't charge. I know that little street. One of the other nights, and I went to turn to shoot somebody, and the PS4 controller is so sensitive. Knife. Dead. Yeah, I need to hit up GameStop if those still exist. Find us in the I don't know. GameStop would even have a uh, PS3 controller. <laughs> <laughs> eBay. Once the parlay hits 45k, I'll just buy me a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Black Ops 2, we got 363 total, it looks like. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is what happened with Black Ops 2 last, last year, and I, I totally forgot that it's still this, this stuff, which basically makes the game unplayable. Yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> they're, they're all doing it. <laughs> what is this? Uh, PS3 Online 2023, who's still playing and why? Well, because you can cheat in Black Ops 2, that's why. World at War. Let's see what's popping off in this bad boy, huh? 120 players online for World at War. It ain't much, but it's honest. There's people playing, but I'm by myself in every one. Oh, they're back. <laughs> you're, you're not gonna... You're stuck with me. I don't know what you're expecting here. I'll see you again. Hey, hello. Welcome back. I'll see you. See you again. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Hey! Kim XL 350. Hold on. My mic's not even on. Kim, don't go. Don't go. Kim. Kim, please stay, Kim. <laughs> Kim. Kim. Oh. Kim, stay. Kim, please don't leave. Kim, you gotta stay. I'm begging you to give me a chance. I'm begging you, Kim. Is it, what did I do? Kim, just just relax. Hang out with me. Is it because I'm level seven? Is that the reason? I don't even want you here, go. Leave, I'm done. I don't, yeah, that's what I thought. Kim, I think you and me would make a great team. Skull Seeker. Hey, this is Kim. They don't want to stay for whatever reason. You're telling me now they want to ready up? Are you serious? Kim, you're a hypocrite. I don't even know if I, I feel safe having you on my team. Uh-oh. Zol, hey, Zol, look out for Kim. They're unreliable to say the least. Number one priority right now. Get the ray gun. This is my singular last attempt at the box for a while. Oh, I got it, baby! 
I got the ray gun. Oh, yeah, I'm screwed if I run out of ammo on this thing, aren't I? Everyone's like, oh, great. The worst guy on the team got the ray gun. Well, Kim, you were right to be skeptical of us. Of me, I should say. You made a valiant effort. Need for Speed Rivals. So this is the last Need for Speed game that released on PlayStation 3 before they went uh, full PS4 and Xbox One. So should be good. A lot of Need for Speeds went offline last year. So it's just Rivals and Most Wanted, I believe, that are still online. This is one of those things where I'm not sure if it's just me because there's no players or it's just me because I haven't played far enough in the game yet. Don't worry, I'm pit certified. Okay, we're finally in. And there are players. So yeah, you, you did have to finish the uh, little intro there. But there's, there's, there's drivers up in here. Let's see, look at that. I made a friend. Just good old driving around. It's the weekend, having fun. Maybe hit the beach. Maybe put lotion on each other. I don't know. I mean, we're just, I'm just spitballing here, but you know, we're just having fun. This is a brand new sealed copy of Dirt 3 Complete Edition on PS3. Very important. And uh, loose disc. But let me tell you what's going on with this game. So it should still be online, but this is something where the game is from that era of online passes. And at least on PS3, this was never something where the online pass was removed, not put on PSN for free, and not put on PSN to buy. As far as I know, it was never on PSN, but either way, it's not on there now. So if you want to play it online, you have to be an original owner that bought it back then. Dirt 3 base copies, if you somehow have one new or have a code that you know has not been redeemed, those codes are expired. However, I found one... <laughs> little lick of evidence on PSN profiles. One person said, complete edition copies have working codes. Even if it's expired, sometimes codes, when there's an expiration date, they do still redeem sometimes. So I made a little gamble. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I really hope this works. If not, this footage is still getting used because it really highlights just how dumb online passes were back then. Redemption expiry date, 2016. I redeemed a code recently that was expired in 2018, and that was back in... That was recent, that was last year, and it, st it still worked, so... We'll see. Got the question, or the, uh, the check mark, that's good. Oh, it went through. We're playing Dirt 3 online, boys. This this is wild, man. Oh. It Oh no. The code you entered may not be correct or may no longer be valid. Wow. Well, that's the first time I've uh, learned that, which is that PSN will recognize what you're trying to redeem. I did not know it would... I've never seen that before. That I really did not expect that it would recognize the content, but tell you, no, you're not, you're not getting it. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> what a bummer. <laughs> I really want to play Dirt 3. <laughs> so, uh, not only are we still dealing with the repercussions of online passes, but this is also a good time to highlight platform differences. Because the Xbox 360 version, which is also playable on Xbox One, Series S, X, via backwards compatibility, uh, I'm not sure what they're doing exactly, if it's something where the online pass is disabled, or if they, they pull it automatically as a download in the background and you, and you don't see it, but the game is still playable online there, which is good, but something where it just highlights why these things were so annoying, we're not sure if it's more of a Sony issue or co 
Codemasters, probably a little bit of both with them not wanting to uh, do maintenance on an old game and maybe you can't release packages on the PS3's uh, PlayStation Store anymore. I don't know, but that's why these things always sucked. I don't know why, but this game just does not want to output any audio to this monitor. So enjoy some generic Plants vs. Zombies music. I don't know what to expect out of this one. Welcome, Matt. Vanquish, Gardens and Graveyards. Team Vanquish. Wow, there's a lot of modes. Looking, looking for really great game sessions. Really good ones. I remember when this was first revealed, and it was like, what are you guys doing? You made a third-person shooter Plants vs. Zombies game. And then it came out and everyone's like, no, no, it's it's actually kind of fun. This, this is my first time playing it, so... It does seem okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. We got people. We got people. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. It, it's silly, but it, it works. I, I probably could have got into this if I had bought it, uh, bought it at the time. I'm pretty sure when I checked EA's site, it said Skate 3 was offline. But I, I, I feel like that's not, that's, that's not true. Fuck yeah. <laughs> How about just an unranked quick match? What's going on, my man? Yo, yo, can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, okay. I ain't real tired yet. My gun, bro. <laughs> this is my first time. I'm still trying to figure this game out. Sounds good. Do you have a PS3 controller or a PS4 controller? Oh, I got a PlayStation 3 controller. Okay. Why is PS4 better? Uh, they're about the same. PS4 is a little more sturdier. You been playing this game for a while? Yeah, probably about six, seven years. Oof. I'm still learning it. Veteran player. My son, um, I ain't so bad. Now he's a veteran. I still gotta learn kick flips and nollies and islands and shit. But my son, oh, he's been playing his PS5, he playing Fortnite, he's still talking, I can't even know. <laughs> I got one game, I'm playing this, and he playing his PS5. Fortnite, talking to his friends. I'm in here. I don't like that Fortnite. That shit look weak to me. <laughs> I, I, I can't really get into it either. I can't, man. I don't know. That shit. That shit look weak. I'm trying to live that shit. Yeah, we got, we got people up in Skate 3 big time. Not, nothing crazy, but enough to get the game going. Mass Effect 3. This is a game that is from the online pass yesteryears. And, uh, oh, oh, okay. This is, this is my original copy. So I, I have the online pass, but EA, I know a long time ago, uh, like a few other publishers, did the right thing at the time by not only not doing this anymore, but making these games free. So I don't know if you have to grab the license or what. This account is currently invalid, okay. <laughs> I didn't even try to do anything. Is that because I can just jump right in? Oh, for crying out loud. What does that even mean? My This account is currently invalid? What does that even mean? Multiplayer expansion. I I might have to grab these because wouldn't the player pool be split if some of these things are like new maps or something? <laughs> okay. Sure. Using the EA account that you've used to play Mass Effect 3. Okay. Forgot your password. My password has been changed. Now I gotta ver <laughs> verify my email after already resetting my password. Oh, it needs to be resynced to fix this problem. Excellent. I will do that. I would like to play this game online. All right, I've got all the downloadable content. Let's go. I'm ready to play. Just give me a game. 
Oh, wow. That was that was fast. Well, I'll tell you, it, it, it took a bit. <laughs> but you can do it. <laughs> it's it's still working. Got some uh, got the homies in here playing some Mass Effect 3. Could do some trophy hunting. It still works. Well, I'll tell you, there's a a right way and a wrong way to abandon these older titles with their online support, right? And the right way would be to make sure that the online pass is turned off or it's free to download. Make all the, the extra maps and all that stuff free as well. I don't even know if you had to pay for it before, but it's free now. So, you know, there is a right way to do it instead of leaving it kind of all messed up and having to pay for things again. So, it uh, seems like people are still on here having fun. Batman Arkham Origins. This will be the first time we're going to try this one. So let's see. Is this game offline? I thought it was online. I thought it was still good. Could not be established. That that sounds like a server shutdown notice. Well, not a notice, but the behavior you would you would get if it was offline. Get out of here. So I'm on PSM profiles. And there's a thread that says how to access online. I got the error that comes up. This dude says, stay on the online start menu for 30 minutes. Then after 30 minutes, press start and you're in. This is how me and my friends have been doing it to get online, to get the, to get the dreaded online trophies. I've been doing this for a long time now. This, this is like the fourth or fifth year we've done this. The private server games are easier to jump into. It, this is strange. These, these games are left to rot for the few ones that are still working. Okay, I guess I'll wait and see if I can get in. I can't believe this is going to go through. No, it didn't go through. I was a believer there for a second. Some god... Damn it. It's been 35 minutes. I've served my I've served my time. Let me in. I am determined to get this to work. All right. I'm going to close the game and make sure with a stopwatch that I'm just over 30 minutes. So let's try that. Thirty minutes. Right away. Immediately. Oh, doesn't look like this is gonna happen. I I can't get on. It's just not letting me. But from what I can see, it's totally playable. Although I think it would be safe to assume it's only for trophy hunters. So. Hey, Assassin's Creed 4. Let's do it. Detecting my Uplay passport and my season pass. Both of which I do not have. I hit multiplayer and it's just a black screen. Every game just doesn't work the first time. What is what is happening? Please work. Please don't tell me the game locked up again. Oh my god. Dude, what is what, what, what is wrong with this game? What if I just want to play single player? Even, even that doesn't work. How did I get to the menu the first time and then I, and then I can't, now I can't get to it at all? Somebody on GameFAQs says it has to do with being online when you launch the game. I'll sign out. Launch the game. And see if we can then sign in and play after that. Now I'm going to sign in. And now I'd like to play some multiplayer. Oh, there's, there's, there, there are people in here. Okay. <laughs> after all that. And I'm sure they, they know exactly what to do and how to get this game going and avoid all the lockups. The game session is about to start. Round two. 
I'd love to believe you. Oh, here we go. Your objective is to hide and score. Hide, hide to score. score more. Just blend in with the humans. I got got pretty quick, didn't I? Oh, we won. I'm sure I played a role in that. Now look, PlayStation 3 is a 16-year-old console. Of course, games are shutting down or they're already shut down long ago. But there is a tipping point happening right now where more games are coming back via revival groups. We've looked at PlayStation Online Emulated. There's also PS Rewired. And both have brought back Resistance Fall of Man via private servers. Our group is PS Rewired. I, I'm Kerberos of the group. I do a lot of the you know, heavy backend engineering and stuff and work with 1UP, which some people in the community will, will know him probably better than me. Uh, but him and I founded PS Rewired and have been working on these private servers. Right now, as it sits today, we have over 60 PS2 and PSP games working. Um, that doesn't include any PS3 stuff. Um, on the PS3 side of things, we currently host uh, Resistance Fall of Man, uh, Motorstorm Pacific Rift, the original Motorstorm, as well as Killzone 2. Oh, I love this track. It was a lot of fun jumping back into Motorstorm Pacific Rift, especially when you consider the time between its closure to now, but therein lies a problem with restoring these games. Yeah, so the, I guess to give a little bit of background, the, the protocol infrastructure that's used for a lot of the first party Sony titles is actually went back to like almost to almost 1999. Um, they built their online infrastructure for the original SOCOM 1 game as well as um, Twisted Metal Black Online. They evolved it all the way up through the PS3 era. So you've got, you know, a bunch of different hoops and I don't think I've ever worked on a single one where I just plug it in and it just works. There's always something that that game does that's different than everything else. And you're always just chasing those phantoms around in every game that you work on. We're just a, a group of hobbyists, right? You know, we don't we don't know what Sony was doing back then. And, you know, some of the features will use things that aren't quite there or, you know, maybe the game is in a completely playable state, but, you know, maybe the leaderboards aren't aren't active at that point or something. You know, it, it's a continuing effort, but why keep the fans from being able to play the games if there's one broken feature? Another problem with a lot of revival projects is these games are old and the whole packet capturing scene didn't really take off until later on. So a lot of the data that these games used just does not exist. So it, again, it comes down to interpretation or it may work slightly different than it did back in the day. If anyone catches wind that a server is going to be shutting down or something, it's always great to capture as much as you can. You know, the more data that's there, the more data that we have access to to be able to recreate any of those online experiences as close to original as possible. And it always helps. And it's a huge asset in a lot of ways. Ah, that sucks. I mean, obviously, you know, this stuff, this stuff takes time. If you do connect to these servers, just know that they're not complete. Um, there are still problems that exist. You know, maybe there's a bug somewhere or whatever it may be, but we're working really hard to try to provide the best experience, provide a free experience for everybody to really enjoy this stuff. And it takes time and any feedback is, is definitely appreciated. And if any, anyone has any additional information about a game that may not be known about, please step forward. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, that's, that's that's motor storm. I want to thank Kerberos for speaking with me, and after spending some time on PS Rewired, I decided to switch over to PS1 servers where they had restored SOCOM Confrontation a while back, and this game is pretty active, one where you can seemingly jump in at a moment's notice. Wow, there's two full games going. I kind of don't want to be in there because that's going to be, I'm, I, I would, I'm a liability. <laughs> I don't want to mess things up. I actually got somebody, which I was not expecting at all. That was pretty bold of me. <laughs> right into the, uh, the the den of the enemy. 
Sounds about right. Six deaths. One kill. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about it. What? 2023, and I have to update my PS3 if I want to play online. What? What are? What are the odds of this coming up while I'm doing this? At this point for Grand Theft Auto 4, I'm just hoping there's something in here that's uh, more than what we normally see, which is a bunch of modding. All right, so I found one person that just keeps cycling through all the duration options. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, all right, popping off already. Pretty good. A lot of people still. Grand Theft Auto 4 is fairly reliable. <laughs> Got him. Okay, well, no, nothing else appears to be happening here outside of just some players not even not even being on and this guy trying to kill me. Uh-oh. There was only one year where somebody was using a mic on GTA 4, and that was the first year, I think. Every other time, nobody else was using one. I feel like playing Dead Space 3 co-op right now, so let's try and find a partner. I'd actually played this original copy when it came out on this account, uh, and that also means this online pass is still on here, and I assume they turned it off though, so it, sh it shouldn't matter. I don't know why it says my NAT type is strict, I don't think it is, I'll have to double check because that could be interfering with some of these games that I'm trying. Quick match attempt failed to find a match. Why? You know, I was hoping with the release of the Dead Space remake that um, the game would see like a small booster shot, nothing crazy. I'm not talking about hundreds of people lining up in droves to play Dead Space 3 and 2, but I thought maybe I'd have a chance. But no. Team Fortress 2. Uh, so this game is going offline very soon, unfortunately. Uh, March 28th. Oddly enough, on EA's site, it's listed as Half-Life 2. But, you know, that's part of the orange box, and there's only one <laughs> there's only one online game on there. It's it's Team Fortress 2. Such an iconic game. Uh, recently, a community member reached out. We uh, looked at this game a few years ago. So somebody on the Discord uh, reached out and said, hey, you know, the game's going offline soon. So had to play with the community one last time. I don't know why I didn't play more of this game back then. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun, but that goes to show why it's still so popular, because it's, it's aged so well. So whether you're playing it on PC, 360, or in this case PS3, still a lot of fun. But that's the amazing thing I find about Team Fortress 2 on PlayStation 3. This is, you know, hate to say it, but this is not the best version of the game to play. So there's so many PS3 games that have gone offline before this. You know, a 2007-era game that was, you know, kind of a shafted port. It just is. Certainly in the, in the eyes of the PC and 360 version. So it's just wild that they, you know, the game's been able to go this long on PS3. Red Dead Redemption. Let's go. Right into online, because I know we're about to find people right away. Well, would you look at this? We got a little uh, standoff going on. How did I make it? How did I make it out of that as far as I did? Gee whiz! I was just trying to. <laughs> I was just trying to check a different mode. Okay. Oh, so I just did gang matches. Casual matches. Yeah, let's. Uh, I, sure. It seems like Red Dead's pretty active. More active than GTA 4, at least every time I check in, which, which is surprising to me. I feel like Grand Theft Auto would have more appeal, but either way, it's good. 
Okay, yeah, it's just me in here, so you're, you're going to find people in free roam. Uh, quick match, of course, which is going to lead you to, I assume, gang matches or or these sort of free for all matches. I, I got to you got to figure that these are are probably pretty dead. And ooh, another free roam with a ton of people. This is way more active than Grand Theft Auto 4. Every time I check GTA 4. So, I mean, you're golden with this game. Golden. Especially since it seems like there is no remake or remaster coming in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave some links down below for the private server groups of PS1 and also PS Rewired if you want to jump back into some of these older games. It's always fun. And uh, usually with these larger uploads, we have some deleted scenes on Patreon. So there's a lot of footage here that did not make the final cut. And any support on Patreon will grant you access to that. And all the prior deleted scenes videos, behind the scenes posts and quarterly Q&As that we do, we're due for another one fairly soon. But, uh, you know, any support always helps. Not necessary though but there's that and you could also uh if you haven't just yet subscribe for the best playstation news reviews and updates that are here on youtube you could also follow me on twitter at mystic ryan and that is it i will see you all in my next video you take it easy